हेलो गाइस दिस इज डॉक्टर सौम्या गुप्ता फ्रॉम यू सी एम एस डेली आई वॉट अ रैंक ऑफ थर्टी सेवन इन आई एन एस सी टी मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड ए आई आर टू थर्टी थ्री इन नीट पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री आई थॉट दिस अ गुड टाइम टू टेल यू एवरी थिंग दैट यू नीड टू नो अबाउट द ग्रांड टेस्ट एंड हाउ टू यूटिलाइज इट इन द बेस्ट वे पॉसिबल टू बूस्ट योर रैंक एंड योर प्रिपेरेशन दिस वीडियो कंप्राइज ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट एवरी थिंग दैट यू शुड नो अबाउट ग्रांड टेस्ट फर्स्ट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद माई जी टी जर्नी सो दैट यू know why you should watch this video and what all you should do to boost your gt scores and your preparation first of all uh, we'll start with the mindset which is basically gts are not your enemy they are basically a game changer if uh, if utilized in the right way uh, Uh, so this is my gt journey on the screen the, these are the number of correct questions in my internship attempt and these are the number of correct questions in my drop attempt you can see i also started with Uh, less than 100 question uh, uh, correct in my gt i progressed towards 111 120 140 and then 150 Wha uh, what are two things which i realized during my internship attempt which helped me in increasing my scores bit by bit which is basically completion of subjects i usually used to leave certain subjects before attempting my gt thinking that they are not important and attempting of pyqs if you attempt your pyqs thir- really your gt scores will surely improve now these are the number of correct questions in my drop attempt as you can see during my internship attempt only i had around 150 questions correct i again started at a similar range of questions during my drop attempt uh, i was a stagnant for a while and where i had around 150 to 155 questions correct for a lot of time then i realized one thing that gave me a major push in increasing my score from 155 to 160 was recognizing the my volatile parts of every subject incorporating them into list and keeping it in my phone and revising them before giving gts and giving gts consistently then uh, one thing which gave me a even further push from 160 was when i made ample revision that is at least three to four good rounds of revision of my notes and uh, then my score went to 170 plus when i made my final go to book and revised it this can happen for each one of you it might it is not as easy as it seems on the ladder it is very tough it requires a lot of determination you have to do it every day without getting demotivated only when you do it every day only when you do everything which i am going to tell you in this video is when you will get a desirable score so let's get started why to give gts it is very important that you know why you should give gts right uh, gts or grand test are the most effective means of testing your preparation a lot of students fall into the trap of endlessly reading your notes and never being uh, uh, feeling prepared enough to give gts always remember this you cannot get a decent rank without giving grand test there is no magic that happens on the day of exam your uh, performance in the exam is basically more or less a reflection of your performance in your gts gt should be attempted consistently last but not the least and the most important one gt should not demotivate you they are a learning tool and should be treated likewise everyone has low gt scores when they begin but you if you give them consistently your scores will surely improve when to give gt remember you will never be prepared enough to give a grand test you will always feel anxious you will always try to cite excuses to yourself why it is not a good time to give gt but that's when you have to actively interview an attempt a grand test and believe me it's a game changer it was a game changer for me and it will be a game changer for you too if you do it in the right way attempt attempt gra- grand test after you have completed first reading of your main notes thoroughly make another schedule of revision where you plan your gts beforehand into that schedule during the first few months of your preparation give gts approximately every 20 days then in the last 1 to 2 months before exam start giving gts every 10 to 12 days so that you give almost 3 gts a month what is the mindset which you should keep during attempting G- gts attempt both neat pattern and nict pattern gts try to give gt from a laptop 
try to give GTs with different approaches. There's a new thing which I'm trying to tell. Basically, there are two ways of attempting your uh, question paper, your final question paper also. There are some people who follow a defensive approach. There are some people who follow aggressive approach. By defensive approach, I mean that you leave the question you are not really sure or, uh, of and by aggressive approach that you attempt every question which you are like, which you know even a bit of that question and you attempt it and that's the aggressive approach. You have to give GT the different approaches to see which ap approach works the best for you for me it was aggressive approach for you it can be anything like aggressive or defensive also during gt bookmark the question which you are guessing coming to the most important part of giving grant test which is analyzing and reviewing the grant test a lot one day for analyzing the grant test after you attempt a gt take a break of at least one hour to relieve the stress of attempting the questions for three hours focus on the number of correct questions and not your rank then through the GTs, find your weak subject. Go, do not go through the explanation of all the MCQs. It is very exhausting. Go through the explanation of basically two types of MCQs. <coughs> the wrong ones and the ones which you guessed but made right because uh, the questions that you guess and make right you have a confusion in at least two options you have to read the explanation of those questions to make sure why the uh, one you attempted was right and not the other one so that you are not confused in the successive gts go through the explanation subject wise like anatomy followed by physiology followed by biochem after your GT day, a lot like one, two, three, three day for your weak subject, which you find through your GT, depending one to 1.5 day if it is a, a short subject and two to 2.5 day if it is a long subject. Keep a track of the number of correct questions in your successive GTs. If you feel something is a repetitive topic in the GT, which is not in your main notes, write it on a sticky note and stick it in your main notes so that you can revise it in the next reading of your main notes. If it is already there just a star mark in, in your main notes coming to volatile list which is a game changer which you have to make through grant test also if you feel you are stuck it is a game changer for stagnant scores if you feel you are stuck and your scores are not improving in the gts these are the three master strokes which if you master your number of correct questions in gts will surely improve coming to volatile list every time you attend a grand test you will realize there are certain topics which are important and they are volatile and you make them wrong each time click their photos and keep it in your phone for example classification of viruses in micro scoring like chadwas and abcd stages of splenic liver and renal injury and types of ecclesia etc when you give your uh, next grand test, revise those volatile lists, you will surely make at least 10 MCQs more correct. Coming to PYQs, make sure if you are uh, you are only able to uh, you will only be able to make more number of questions in GTs correct if you are thorough with your previous year questions and topics. Left subject subjects a lot of times uh, times we ignore certain subjects like radiology derma anesthesia thinking that they are not important make the easy questions wrong ensure that you have read these subjects before you attempt your next gt also if you are making those mcqs wrong which are uh, which a lot of people make wrong do not waste time trying to make them correct anyways they are not a rank decider platforms to do gts from you should give gt from at least two platforms to eliminate any gaps in your preparation and make your preparation foolproof this video was basically aimed to instill hope and determination in each one of you and to tell you that each one of you can improve your gt scores if you master the three master strokes i told you to improve your gt scores if you have any doubts, please post in the comments below. More than happy to answer it. If you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.